What's going on you guys and welcome back to another LumaFusion tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're gonna create or recreate the uh, beautiful destinations text intro and that looks like this. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna use Affinity Photo and Luma Fusion. Affinity Photo is simply because I want to draw those two lines which they have in their signature text intro. Now you can probably do this by recreating them in Luma Fusion by adding shapes. It's a little bit tricky, but you can probably do it. And you can also use other applications. You don't have to use Affinity Photo. As long as the application can draw lines draw something on a transparent background you are good to go now before we jump over to the ipad make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and i'm also happy to see that so many of you are enjoying the brand new website now let's jump over to the ipad and straight into affinity photo before we move over to luma fusion so once we move over to the iPad here, the first thing we're going to do is to go into Affinity Photo. You can use another application which you can draw lines on the transparent background, but in this tutorial, we're going to use Affinity Photo. So we're going to start by creating a new layer by tapping on the plus on the top right here. Then we're going to choose new document and we're going to choose the same settings as we see here on the screen right now, but we're going to add the transparent background and we're going to tap on OK. And once we get the new layer here, we're going to go straight over to brushes and select the brush that we want. The pencil down here is the one that I'm going to use. This is the calligraphic uh, 0 0.1. So I'm going to tap on that. Make sure that the color is white by changing the luminance to 100. Now I can also adjust the width and size of the uh, brush here. I'm going to leave it around there. And now we're going to draw these two lines, which you saw in the intro, which is the signature for beautiful destinations uh, intro text as well. Now, once we draw the two lines, we're going to go over to the export button up here. We're going to go to export and we're simply just going to leave the settings as they are. And we're going to save this to our photos app. So once we get over to uh, Luma Fusion here, you can see that we have the two lines here imported to our photos. Now I'm not going to use these two here because uh, this was just a, a fast drawing. I'm going to use someone which is a little bit better. So the first thing we're going to do is to actually make a new main title. And on this main title, we're going to keep it at five seconds. And uh, now we're going to go into edit on this uh, new title here and we're going to go over to titles and we're going to change the text. I'm simply going to change the text to uh, Rob HK Vlogs tutorial. So now that we have the text, we can go over and change the font and I'm going to use the font Avenir next ultra light. And again, I'm going to go into edit on the text here and select Rob HK Vlogs only. Then I'm going to go over to double T's here and change the font to Avenir Medium. So now that we have the text, I'm going to go down to the uh, scale section here under titles, and I'm going to scale this down until I'm satisfied with the size of it. I'm also going to make sure to center the text. And now let's go over to frame fit here to take a look at the text. And this looks Decent. It feels like it's a little bit to the left here, so I'm going to go and check that and see if everything is centered. Everything is centered, so we now created the text that we're going to use. So now that we have the text, we're going to go on and we're going to import the lines here. So here we have the lines which I created earlier in Affinity Photo, and we're simply going to make this the same duration as the uh, text layer which is underneath. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go into edit on the text layer. We're simply going to scale this to uh, fit the text just like uh, something like that. And we're going to take it over to the left side. Now, once we've taken it over to the left side, we're going to go to the beginning here and we're simply going to go uh, a couple of frames. I would say uh, let's go for 10 frames and then we're going to make a keyframe. And we're going to go for 10 more frames. So 0, 20, make another keyframe. And we're going to take this over to the other side here, just like that. Now we can check the uh, position here on the first one. This is 37.9. So I'm going to take it up to 38. 
and uh, we now have the animation of the line going from the left side to the right. So the text is going to vanish here, it's going to disappear, we're going to do that in cropping in a second, but now we want to create the animation of it going backwards. So again, we're going to go to the uh, end here, and we're simply going to go 10 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, make a keyframe, and then we're going to go 10 frames again. So that will be 4.03, make a keyframe. And on the last one here, we're going to change the position to the same as this. So this is here minus 38. So let's go to this one and choose minus 38. So now we have the same placement as the first one here and the text uh, lines are coming in like this. Then it stays and then it goes back. The next thing we're going to do is to go over to cropping here. We're going to go to the beginning right before the text starts to move. So around here is where we want to make a keyframe, which is going to be the uh, cropping as it is now. So the next thing we want to do is to go to uh, the uh, beginning here. You can also adjust this as we go. So let's say this is 0, 011. I only want it to be uh, five frames. So I'm going to go to 0 0.06 and make another keyframe. And on this keyframe, I'm going to take the edge softness to 50%. And I'm also going to take the bottom and drag up to the top here, something like that. Now, once we've done that, we can do a playback here to see if we're happy with the animation. A little bit fast. So I'm going to go to the beginning here and just make a keyframe, delete this in the middle, and let's do another playback. Perfect. So now that we made the first two keyframes here where the lines is uh, is getting pulled out, we're going to go to the point right before the two lines is getting to the right side of the text here and make another keyframe. And uh, here we're going to do the same. We're going to go a couple of frames and then we're going to make another keyframe and we're going to take the bottom crop here and take all the way up to the top here, something like that. We can now do a playback here to see how it looks. And that goes a little bit too fast here. So what we're going to do is to take the edge softness up again to 50 ish, something like that. We can do another playback here. Maybe a little bit too much. a little bit too slow there. So what I'm going to do is to select this keyframe here and then I'm going to go a couple of frames backwards, like maybe two and make another keyframe and delete the first one. So let's do another one. Perfect. Now the next thing we want to do is to do the exact same thing at the end here. So right before it starts to move, we're going to make a keyframe at the first movement here. And this is going to be the text or the line reveal. So what I'm going to do now is to take the bottom here and drag all the way down. And I'm going to go a few frames backward in time here. And then I'm going to make another keyframe right here and take the bottom and place it on top. So now you will have the the line coming in like that and then it disappears there and then it's disappeared and then it comes in again here and then we have the movement. So again, at this point, right before the two lines are to the left of the text, I'm going to make a keyframe. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit back here, make a keyframe just like we had to do here. And then I'm going to go to the uh, position where it stops right here and actually we can try to go to the end here and then I'm going to take the bottom all the way up. So now let's do a playback of these keyframes. So now that we created the um, the uh, lines here, the cropping of the lines, we can go actually go back to the size and position of the text layer, which is the lines as well. So what we're going to do now is to make a keyframe in the middle of the two keyframes, which we already have here. And on these two keyframes, we actually going to change the size. So we're going to change the size to something of uh, 70 to 80. 
and uh, let's see something like that and what that will do is to actually create that signature lines which you see in the beautiful destinations travel videos as well so now we will have the increase in size of the line as it gets to the middle and then it will go back to normal once we get it to the end of the text so normal and then it will increase in size and then back to normal now let's do a playback of this text So what we want to do now is to go into edit on the text here and this is something that you've probably done before as well. We're simply going to do a basic cropping. So what I'm going to do is to find a point right before the line starts to move. So around here and I'm going to make a keyframe and take the animation or the cropping line here over to the left side. I like to go frame by frame because then I don't have to adjust afterwards when I am uh, changing the line here and I really want to be accurate when I'm following the animation. That's one of the main reasons why I'm doing this frame by frame. So now that we go to the point where everything is revealed, we're going to go to the end here and we're going to do the exact same thing when we are moving back again. So now that we finished the last part of the cropping here as well, we can go out to the timeline here and we can take a look at the final text which we created in LumaFusion. Now you can always go into Epidemic Sound which I used to get the sound effects which you heard from the uh, uh, text which you saw in the intro as well. All the sound effects were found on epidemic sound so if you want to check out epidemic sound as well there is a link in the description below so that's how you recreate the beautiful destinations uh, text intro now you can spice it up even more by adding some uh, uh, swish swish effect uh, or blur to the uh, two lines as well you can also make the keyframing a little bit more accurate so it's a little bit smoother you can go like a change of speed in the uh, keyframes by controlling the placement of the uh, lines a little bit better than we did in this tutorial but that was that was going to be like too long too in depth and i really wanted to make this as simple as possible so i really hope that you enjoyed this video as well let me know in the comment section below what you think of this tutorial also the brand new website and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this check me out on instagram and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video